Hi everybody! If you're watching this part of the video, you're probably catching the replay, so just drop a two in the comments for me. If you're new to my live broadcast, my name is Hannah Brindley and I'm coming live to you from Austin, Texas. So tonight, hi Amy, tonight I'm going to be showing you guys what could be my go-to everyday lip color for spring and summer. I'm super pumped about it, honestly. It's from the new limited edition collection. Super pumped. You guys are going to love it. And if you would, I have a share goal tonight to get 15 shares on this video during the live video. So if you guys could share, let me know you did um, in the comments, whatever you call it, in the comments, and I'll give you a shout out. Uh, give me just a sec. I'm going to share to my group and then I'm going to get started. Um, hi, everybody. Let me know you're watching by saying hey. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Drop a one if you're. If you're tuning in live, hi everybody, y'all are awesome. Okay, so I'm just going to show you guys, kind of give a recap from last night if you've missed. Thanks, Flora, you're awesome. Uh, thanks for sharing. Okay, so if you missed last night's live, thanks, April. Thanks for sharing. If you missed last night's live, these are our new colors. Okay, like these are the prism of colors. They are all limited edition. They're all smudge proof, waterproof, life proof, all the things. Okay, <laughs> so I'm just going to go in order of the colors as I'm sharing to my group. I'm a big multitasker. Um, who here is a multitasker? Drop a three <laughs> if you're a multitasker because that's exactly what I'm doing. Um, so this up here is Midnight Muse. It's like a navy blue with like a cobalt-ish look. It's really pretty. I love it. Um, I haven't tried it on yet, though. I'm going to try it on for you guys. Um, and then this one right here is Skyline. I tried this one on last night. If you missed it, y'all need to go back and watch. This is a fun color. I'm obsessed with it. And then this one right here is Lilac Lacquer. Super pretty. Super pretty. Love, love, love this one. This one right here is Pop Art Pink. This reminds me so much of the Nicki Minaj color. Like, when she first became popular. This is what that color reminds me of. And then this one right here is called Mon Magenta. This is the one I'm going to be trying on for you guys tonight. Um, I'm, I'm thinking this might be an obsession. I'm thinking it is. It's going to be. And then I'm going to try it on with all the different lip sense glosses for you guys so you can see the finish of it. So, okay, so here's the one I'm trying. Hi everybody, let me know you're hopping on. Share this video, let me know I've got a live goal, I mean a share goal of um, 15, yeah 15. <laughs> so this is, um, gosh what's it called, Mon Magenta. Super excited for this one. This looks right up my alley, you guys. Like, I love, like, reds. Hi, Melissa. How are you? Okay, so this color is, like, right up my alley. Y'all know I love reds. <laughs> and if you're new to lip scents, you really want to start with clean and dry lips. I always prime with my Oops Remover, which I did right before I hopped on here. And you want to shake it, which I already did. And then you want to apply in three thin layers, typically with one stroke. If you go back and forth, it's just going to pick up the product. It's like nail polish. Okay. Oh, thanks, Melissa. You're awesome. Okay. So that's one layer of Mod Magenta. But I love making these videos for you guys. It's so fun. Like, I'm glad I'm doing this 100 days of live challenge because it's just gotten so fun to where, like, I really look forward to going live now. Hi, Tolly. Okay. So that is one layer of the Mama Genta. I'm already falling in love. <laughs> So what it looks like, and here's the swatch. It's basically a hot pink with like a hint of red. That's what I'm getting from it, and it's got a matte finish. <clears throat> it 
Thank you all so much for tuning in on a Friday night. So that's the second layer on the bottom. And y'all, if you're just tuning in, I was sharing with everyone, I have a share goal of 15 tonight. So if you like my videos, you like lip scents, anything like that, share this video. Please, it means so much to me. I love doing these for you guys. I want to keep doing them. <laughs> oh, thank you. Y'all are so sweet. Y'all need this color, like for real. Especially like Lexi, I know you said you're eyeing it, you need it. It's awesome. Ah. Oh. I love, love, love. Okay. So I'm just now finishing my third layer. Which lip since new these, this is my final layer. You do three thin layers. Okay, well I did four on the bottom, it's fine. Y'all, I love this color, okay? Like, could this be my go-to spring color? Probably so. <laughs> I think this is it. Um, this almost reminds me of Strawberry Shortcake, if you've seen that one. But I love this one. This is probably going to be the one I pick. Yes, Melissa, I love this color so much. I'm just going to let the colors dry. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Courtney. Oh, Lexi, <laughs> you're going to order them all. <laughs> They're so good. This is so good. This is such a pretty color. Like, this one, okay, I'm going to show you all of them while this dries before I put the gloss on. Because I got my inner corners a little too much. Whoops. Okay, <laughs> happens. These are all the colors. And the one I'm wearing is definitely the most, like, wearable, I'd say, because, like, this one's, like, a bright pink, like, Barbie, Malibu, Nicki Minaj pink. And then we got purple, navy blue, and blue, which I'm obsessed with this blue, you guys. I don't care what anyone says. I love that blue. Um, let's see. This one's still a little, little wet over here. But I'm super excited about this color. I only have two. And, guys, this is limited edition. I only have two. I was dumb <laughs> and didn't order enough because this color is awesome. I know this one's going to go quick. Um, just like the rose gold, guys, I ordered 20 rose gold shimmer shadow senses that were limited edition, and they're gone. They're sold out. They're gone, like, and they're not coming back. So if you want to make sure you have this color, let me know because I'm telling you all, limited edition stuff does not stay around very long. Okay, so this is Mama Magenta. Let's see. Is this ready yet? We're gonna go for it. We're gonna go for it. Hi guys. If you're just hopping on, drop a one in the comments if you're watching live. All right. Okay. So that's with the glossy gloss on top. The glossy gloss is what you would get with any lip scent starter kit, is why I recommend to any newbie. The most hydrating is like crack for your lips. You will never pick up a chapstick again. I promise it's awesome 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 stuff okay so this is with the glossy finish and y'all just ignore where I just went up too high on this slope sorry that's what I get for using the camera as a mirror <laughs> okay so and now I'm gonna start applying all the glosses y'all we have 11 different glosses but y'all get to see them on this color okay so I'm gonna start where am I gonna start I guess I'll start with the matte Hi, Shirley. I'm going to start with a matte. So I'm just going to kind of dab this off. Because even when I use the matte gloss, I still want to have a little bit of glossy underneath because it is so hydrating. Our matte gloss is really awesome and creates that matte finish and it still seals in the color like the glossy does. But the matte one, you can tell it looks like this. It has a smooth, silky feeling, but it's not as hydrating as the glossy. So what this is going to do... Is once it dries down, it's going to dry down matte. Oh, wait. This is the pearl gloss. My bad. <laughs> but this is the pearl. I was wondering why it looks so kind of glistening. But this is the pearl. Which, the pearl gloss has like a pearlescent sheen. I'm going to hold it up. Almost kind of milky. 
It's really pretty. If y'all saw my live video last night with the Skyline, this color, Pearl looks amazing over Skyline. I'm just going to show you. Like, I, it was probably my favorite. Um, so that's what it does to Skyline. It's incredible. Love it. Hi, y'all. Chelsea, I know. I'm a mess. Okay. <laughs> but the, in my defense, the matte gloss and the pearl gloss look kind of the same. <laughs> sorry. Sorry about it. I didn't read the labels. Okay, so now I've got the matte gloss, so let me, <laughs> let me dab this off. <sighs> okay, so remember, <laughs> the matte gloss is going to give you that finish, that matte finish that most people really enjoy. It's super silky and smooth. So once it dries down, it's going to have that matte finish. I mean, as you can see, this is already a lot more matte than the glossy, but give it like, I don't know, like 30 seconds and it's going to completely mattify. Oh, I know. They look exactly the same and I wasn't even like paying attention to that. So hold on. This is the pearl gloss and this is the matte gloss. They look exactly the same, but they're, they're different. <laughs> Whoops. But yeah, so this is Mon Magenta. In the matte gloss, I really love this. I'm loving this color. Y'all throw me some hearts if you like the color. Throw some hearts. Put some hearts in the comments. Maybe a flame. Whatever. I just want to know y'all like this color. <laughs> because I'm obsessing. Hi, Britt. Okay. So, I see some hearts. Okay. Lots of hearts. Awesome. Okay. So, the next one is going to be Opal Gloss. Opal gloss, in my opinion, is like the unicorn gloss, okay? Like, it's the unicorn gloss. That's all I know how to say it. <laughs> Chelsea. <laughs> yeah, the pearl is an awesome gloss. Like, I feel like pearl is super underrated. Um, it looks incredible over anything. One of my favorite combos is cappuccino and pearl gloss. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so now I'm going to apply the opal. Watch. Watch the unicorn transformation. Ha! Everyone needs opal. Everyone. Because you can completely change the color of any lipstick. It's not a lipstick, but, you know, any lip color, you can change it. Who likes, who likes opal gloss? Has anyone used opal? It's so fun. Love it. I actually, I think I love this one, like, a lot. <laughs> I might be wearing this tomorrow. <sighs> okay. And y'all, if you're hopping on, I've got a share goal of 15. So if you like my videos, please share, invite your friends. Like, I love doing these videos for you guys, and I want to make sure I can keep doing them. Okay. So now I'm going to do sand gloss. So this is like a golden sheen. A golden sheen. Sandy sheen. Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> so let's, this is actually supposed to neutralize the color, so I'm interested to see what this does to this one. Oh. Oh, all right, okay, that was unexpected. I love this. Okay, yep, love it. Love Mom Magenta with this one. Shannon, sand is awesome. One of my favorite combos is beige champagne and sand. Another one is cocoa and sand. Absolutely gorgeous, and I was not expecting it to look like this. I love this a lot. Um, definitely not what I was expecting, but I love it. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna dab that off, and then we're gonna go. We're gonna go with the rose gloss next. Okay, so this is the rose gloss. It has a peachy tint to it. We may not be able to tell much of a difference with this. Yeah. Yes, April, you've got to try sand. 
Sand is awesome. Sand was probably my first, I think sand was my first specialty gloss I ever got. Okay. So that's rose. I'm going to do another one on the top. So this is orchid. This is rose, Shirley. Okay, so this is um, orchid. I'm going to put it on the top lip while rose is on the bottom just to see if there's any difference there. Okay, so not too much of a difference. Not really. This one's just a little bit more purplish slightly. You can kind of see the peachy tint, kind of, from the rose. So I kind of love it. I don't know. I'm just, I love this color. I love this color. I can't say that enough. I really can't. Okay. So now we're going to do Bougainvillea all over. The B gloss because it's a crazy name, Bougainvillea. I'm gonna put this one all over. Y'all know, hold on, I've talked about this before, but this is probably my favorite gloss just to wear on its own, right there, because it's tinted. Love it. Oh uh, yeah. And this just, I think this just brought out. the pink love love this gloss okay I think this one's my favorite so far what are y'all what's y'all's favorite that you've seen on this particular color because I have different favorites for different colors but what's your favorite so far I still have the glitter glosses and the diamond glosses I mean the diamond gloss we don't have multiple diamond glosses that'd be amazing I would love to see a blue diamond gloss <laughs> or would that be like a sapphire gloss Probably a sapphire glass. That'd be cool. <laughs> Opal was your favorite. Hi, everybody. Thanks for hopping on. I love this sand too, Shannon. If y'all are watching, make sure you share this video. I have a share goal of 15. Let me know you're watching live. Okay. So this is gold glitter gloss. No. I want to do pink glitter gloss next. <laughs> so this is pink glitter gloss. As you can see, it's got, you can't really tell on the camera. Let me see. Let me try mixing it for you guys. Sometimes the glitter, you have to like mix it up. There we go. So this is pink glitter. It's so funny. Y'all have different favorites. I think they all look good though. Okay, party. I'm afraid to do that. Um, well, I mean, you can use your oops remover to get it off. I just don't. Um, I think it takes about four days for it to finally wear off with showers and washing my hands and everything. So this is pink glitter. Whew. Now y'all pay attention. Y'all have to tell me which glitter y'all like best too. Hi, Emily. Um, I, would, I just mix it like this. I take the tube and I mix it around. But yeah, it'll separate like... If you store it a certain way, it's going to separate. Um, like if you store it upside down, like it's going to separate just because of the science behind it. Um, don't ask me about science. <laughs> Whew. Okay. So that's pink glitter gloss. Kind of love. Kind of love. Okay. But I have a feeling I'm going to like this next one better. <laughs> and I think y'all will too. So I'm going to show y'all my favorite glitter, which is gold glitter. Love gold glitter. I feel like you can put gold glitter on top of anything, and it just gives it that extra sass. <laughs> okay. Yep. Sometimes I'll literally just add the glitter to the center instead of all over, like that. I love the gold glitter with this and the sand. The, those are probably my two favorites because I feel like it gives it that extra warmth with which I can't even talk. I have got like a lisp or something. Okay. <laughs> but um, I feel like it gives it that extra warmth, especially like for the spring and summertime. I love warmth on my face. 
Yes, gold glitter and um, fly girl is an awesome combo. Um, so is diamond kiss gloss and fly girl. But gold glitter with anything with anything is beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna do. We've got two left. We're gonna do. I'm gonna do it on opposite sides. One of my friends gave me this idea earlier tonight, opposite sides, because I've got silver glitter and I've got diamond kiss. A lot of people wonder what the difference is. So, silver glitter, let's see, is kind of chunky. It's like chunky glitter, okay? Whereas diamond kiss, they're actual diamonds in the lip gloss. This is my all-time favorite lip gloss, okay? All-time favorite, because I'll wear it by itself. So, it's got actual crushed diamonds in there, and it's very finely milled. Whereas, like, in comparison, you can tell the silver glitter is a lot more chunky. So, it's going to be more spread out over the lip, whereas this is going to cover more surface area, if that makes sense. Okay. So, I'm going to do silver glitter, I guess, on this side. Y'all make sure you share this video if y'all want to see more. I love doing these for you guys. I'm, like I said, I'm really glad I'm doing the 100 Days of Lives. Okay. So this is silver glitter. And Brittany, I'm glad you're on here. I was just telling everybody that you gave me the idea to do silver glitter on one side and diamond kiss on the other. So this is silver glitter. And I've got diamond kiss right here. I don't know if y'all can tell. Oh, there we go. So I don't know if y'all saw that. But the diamond, like y'all can't really see on camera, I don't think, so I'm going to get a little closer. But in person, there's not as much glitter looking stuff covering my lip over here. It's more spread out. Whereas here, it's kind of all over. Like, it almost looks like a part of the color. Aw, thanks, Brittany. I love this color. But I don't... I'm going to finish it off with my favorite gloss that I tried with this color. And y'all, it's so funny the glitter stays. Shannon, yes, the Diamond Kiss can be gritty, so I always recommend for all the specialty glosses to apply a thin layer of glossy and then putting the diamond kiss on. Um, it's not like excessively noticeable, but it, the more you wear it, the more you can feel it if you don't have that glossy seal. Okay. Same with all the glitter glosses. Okay. Um, and this is sand. So this was my favorite, I think, on this color. I love sand on this. I don't know what it is, y'all. Same, Brittany. I put glossy under everything. Even if I'm just wearing, like, right, Gabby? Sand is incredible. I love it over this color so much. And no, Shannon, you're fine. Ask all the questions. Um, but, yeah. That's all I have for you guys. Um, let's see. Any announcements? Hmm. I have two of these Mod Magentas left, remember? limited edition y'all know they go fast i ordered 20 rose gold shadow senses and they're gone i don't even think i had them a week and a half like they're gone okay i only have two of these i'll order more if they have them available but make sure you grab it what's on my eyes um i've got garnet out here blended out really well in sandstone pearl shimmer and then snow on the inner corners um so saying oh yeah Okay, make sure you share this video, invite your friends, tag your friends. It would mean the absolute world to me. Y'all know I love doing this so much. And thank you guys so much for watching. It means the world. And I will see you guys tomorrow on Saturday. <laughs> Hi, Daisy. I'm just hopping off. Ah, But okay, y'all have a good Friday night. Friday night. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.